Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So today we are going to be doing the uh, next video in the uh, highly anticipated series of putting new frets into this here vintage 1960, use this four, three, two, I don't remember, whatever it is. Where's the case? I don't see the case. Where did I put the case? Did somebody move my case? Where'd it go? Why? Oh, there it is. Let's go see what it is. Here, swing back, swing back. You can see the whole shop. Ready? I found it. It is a 63. 1963 ES-175. Yeah. I forgot there for a second what we were working on. I see so many guitars. Anyway, so what we have done so far, put in some... Uh, some vintage sized frets into this here old board. We leveled it out as much as I dared. I didn't really want to go too much. I don't want to get, I don't want to dig in those inlays. They got some natural age to them. Um, and down here, we definitely didn't want to keep digging in here. You can see how some of these, when they start looking transparent like that, um, that means stop. You're going to go through something. Uh, you don't know how much this thing was planed in its previous life. I did, this one was lifting, so I had to glue it back down. But before I did that, uh, I kind of he warmed it gently and lifted on to see how he, easy it would be just to remove and it didn't feel like it was going to be easy at all. So I didn't want to um, try to remove all these inlays because they're not real pearl. They're just they're some sort of old whatever that old plastic or stuff they use. Um, so it's very susceptible to suddenly burst into flames, melt, get deformed. I didn't want to do that. So... We uh, slept them and did as minimal leveling as we could. Um, I also filled a couple of, look at that, there's an old chip that was there, filled that one. <clears throat> there was a chip missing here, I don't know how you lose a chip there. I filled in the worst spots of the inlays, there's also, there's other gaps, I mean, this is just what happens, they kind of, shows the age a little bit, but that's okay. Um, frets are in, leveled, shiny buffed out, ready to be put back together. Um, we're going to, uh, so put a new nut on it. We have the nut actually in here. Let's see if this made a difference in this uh, container that didn't have anything in it before. Um, I did the coffee thing to give it a little uh, soak in coffee. Here, let's take this, open this here, innocent. Can I do it one-handed? No. Okay. All right, let's put you guys in the holder and... Uh, We'll uh, see how that came out. All right, so anyway, let's uh, see what's inside. There we go, look at that sludge. Oh, let's move the guitar. Let's not drip coffee sludge on it. Right? Okay. So, this is just, I took a, a nasty, one of our grosser flavors of Keurig and just let that sit in overnight with some water. And let's see what it did. This because we didn't have any uh, unbleached bone. And I think it was super white. Didn't look quite right against the. Come on, I'm trying to reach my paper towels. I'm bumping you guys. Didn't look quite right against the aged binding. But that now, look at that. That looks. Uh huh. That came out. That that worked very well. Here, let's go dump this innocent bottle of coffee solution. I'll be right back, pause. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's zoom in a little bit here, maybe a little bit more. Let's zoom in on my nut, shall we? That's, that's nice. What do you think? Huh? Clean out the slots a little bit, but that gave it a nice, Nice aged patina. Here, there we go. Let's set it right down there. We'll zoom in. Right, right, right there we go. I imagine that was just one one overnight. I bet leaving it for like a week would make it even darker. We don't have time to do that. It'll age anyway. Okay, ready? Let's get the guitar back. Instead of staring at my nut. All right, here we go. 
wing it out. There we go. All right. This is going to go up here. I've already sized it out. Ready to be put in there. It's kind of right. Did the pencil trick, so it's right down to the line. You know the trick where you take the flat pencil. And if you guys don't know about this, when you're cutting a nut, just take a, find a carpenter's pencil, cause, just because they're easy to grab. Any pencil will work, but these are easy to grab when they're flattened. Flatten it down to something else that's flat with sandpaper, and then you just set on your on your frets, make a line. And then when you cut your fret slots down to that line, it gives you right in the ballpark a final slotting. Usually it's, it's always too high, so you have room to slot down, but it saves you a lot of time. Any, anyway, um, we are going to put tuners back on it. Um, let's see, what else? What else needs to be done? Truss rod cover, I think that's might be all buffed out. And... I'm gonna do a little bit of drop filling like here, and there's a couple spots. Just I'm gonna take some black lacquer and just kind of make them less apparent. But that'll be like a last step. I'm gonna put the electronics back in and string it up. All right, sound good, to you guys? All right, let's do that then. Tuners need tuners. Where did I put tuners? Here they are, right in the bag. So I did not lose them, which is good, because that would be bad. I'll give these a good lubricating also. They are old. They're all functional, looks, looks like. And see, these are the kind that with the bent tabs, you can fix these. If these something happens, you can take the cover off. The new ones, they're usually stamped and peened. Oh, I don't need to loop that, loop that, do a little there. There and there. And we'll give each one of these a little bit of a, a lube in. Why? You guys know why. Because lube makes everything better. And that is very true with old tuners. These little oiler things work great. Get them on Amazon. Very handy for guitar work. And then you can just refill them after your, they come full, they're like, I don't know, eight bucks or something. You keep refilling them after that with whatever oil you prefer. Or whatever fluid you prefer, really. I don't care what you put in there. Anyway. Okay, there we go. Whoop, don't drop that, stupid. Hey, look, I saved the, uh, we got the original frets. <laughs> Put those in the case. They can, they can stay with it. Usually I throw them out, but what the heck. Next, let's put these bushings back in the headstock here. These are just pressure fit. Most of them are just gently. Yeah, just kind of gently. Okay, tuners are back on. Uh, next, we're gonna go give this thing a polish. Um, I'm not gonna go too nuts with it, but it's got a lot of uh, a lot of just dirt and crud on it. We're gonna shine it up, make it look nice. It'll still look old and cool, but uh, yeah, let's polish this up. And then we're going to give these electronics a good hosing out with the oxit, put them back in. Uh, yeah, check out this old black sticker, patent number, humbucker. This would sound pretty good in a junior, huh? <laughs> but uh, it's going back in this. Ready? Let's go out back. Pause it. 